Michael Shane. So on the way down here tonight, I saw this girl pulled over on the side of the road, bent over in her trunk, getting her spare tire out so she could fix a flat. Well, once I pulled over to help her, much to my surprise, it wasn't a girl. It was some tiny dude in skinny jeans. Much to his surprise, I slashed his spare tire and left him there. That's what he gets for false advertising. As boss said, my name is Mike Shank. A little bit about myself, I'm married to a beautiful Hispanic woman. I'm a proud father of three beautiful boys. Thank you. Thank you. Next. You guys can keep going. It's cool. I got a couple of nights here. I have two white sons from a previous relationship and a Hispanic stepson that saves me a lot of money at allowance time. What it cost me $10 to get the white ones to do, he'll do it for five. <laughs> I love the family functions though. She's got this cousin who's about six foot four, weighs about 350 pounds. I'm gonna do pretty much anything he tells me to do. One night of drinking together, he told me by the end of the night I was gonna wind up sucking down the worm. I got out of it though. Luckily by the end of the night he was too drunk to get his zipper down. <laughs> I think Arizona's gotten a little carried away with all the immigration laws though. I had my wife down in Phoenix with me not that long ago. We got pulled over and the cop asked her for papers. She said we didn't need any, we had a pipe. <laughs> and I found that that was not the most appropriate time to tell him that I thought pigs belong on a farm. <laughs> and my kids, the things the kids say. My oldest, he took his first sex ed class, man, in fifth grade. They're teaching him young now. He got home and I said, well, buddy, what'd you learn? He said, well, Dad, I learned a lot about cooties. I said, you did, huh? What'd you learn about cooties? He said that they cocoon until a girl matures and then they turn into herpes. <laughs> yeah. Then he got in some trouble in school. I had to go to a parent-teacher conference. Apparently, he had been attaching a mirror to the top of his shoes so he could look up little girls' skirts. The teacher's asking me how he'd get influenced to do something like this. Man, I'm getting madder and madder thinking, man, will this bitch sit still? <laughs> Oh, man, my kids are constantly getting me in trouble. I get accused of wiping boogers on the side of the couch. I'm a grown-ass man. I know damn well that they go underneath the cushion. I was in the bathroom shaving the other day, and my oldest came in, and he said, Hey, Daddy, can I wear some of your cologne so I can smell good like you do when you go out? I said, Sure, buddy. While I'm spraying the cologne on him, I look over my youngest is splashing beer on him. I'm like, dude, what the hell are you doing, man? And he said, well, I want to smell like you do when you get home. <laughs> that wasn't nothing. I look over my stepson splashing tequila on him. I'm like, dude, what are you doing, man? And he said, well, I want to smell like the guys do that show up here at the house when you're gone. <laughs> I want to thank you guys. My name's Mike Shank. That's my time for tonight. <laughs>